Hey guys, uh, Gaming is Awesome here. Welcome back to Build a Boat. Today we have a new tank. This is the Churchill Gun Carrier, or just Gun Carrier. This is a World War II tank uh, made by the British Empire. I don't think it was called that in World War II, but hey, this is awesome. So uh, yeah, this is the Gun Carrier, a uh, 3-inch Mark One Churchill A22D, uh, you know a bunch of tank stuff that you want to understand. Well, unless you were uh, smart, uh, I'm not smart, but uh, tanks that works. Alrighty, let's go over the details and all that. So on this gun carrier, I have basically it's picture perfect from the front. Uh, besides not having a circle in a a circle-like barrel. Square. That's the best I can do in build a boat. I mean, that's literally all you can do, unless you're a tryhard who makes circle things out of random things. What am I talking about? I don't know. Churchill. This is not built to scale. This is a bit bigger than the actual scale scaled version. This is the biggest tank I've made besides last episodes. This is, this is the biggest accurate tank that I've made. Uh, this is built on the chassis of the Churchill. Uh, let me find a picture of the Churchill. So this is the Churchill tank. Uh, as you can see, it's the same chassis, except they removed the turret and they put a big box on here and called it a gun carrier. They put a massive gun on it and, uh, yeah, the I don't know what they were thinking about this. This is in real life a 89 millimeter plate. This is like 36 millimeters, and this is kind of the same. But they didn't slant this plate at all. So basically, a uh, basically a uh, what am I trying to say? Another tank can pin this because it's not slanted. So uh, it can't really bounce any rounds. It'll just take the rounds. Like, the the round or the shell will just be stuck in the armor, probably. That's probably what would happen. Your best bet is of survival is to angle your tank and then point the gun in the same direction as your enemy. If you were in War Thunder. Now, this is a communications device, I'm guessing. Uh... This is the hatch, or a viewport, I mean, uh, mud, a hitch, so it could carry stuff, I guess. Ooh, something exploded. Another communication device, probably. A hatch to get to the engine, if they need to repair stuff. Cable, cabling, I'm not sure what this was for. It was on the church hill as well. Uh, these rivets, I'm not sure what were... I'm not sure what these were for. for not for uh, these containers. I'm guessing held ammunition. Another hatch to get to uh, sprocket wheels and all that. Uh, big thick gun. More containers. Container. What the hell? Ew, that doesn't look good. Uh, there's a round container back here. I'm not exactly sure what it was used for. Another container, and then this is the hatch to get inside the tank. So inside the tank, we have not really any interior besides the gun. Excuse me, you would... What, what they did in a battleship was they would put the shell in and then cram like six very big packets of gunpowder. And I kind of... I kind of imagine that the I can imagine that for this they would put gunpowder uh, like a bag of it and then they would put the shell and then they would fire it at an enemy because this is a thick gun I would say it would be a naval gun but I'm not sure about that uh, more details there's scratch marks and rust I and mud I wanted this thing to feel used and I think I did grab that look kind of. The scratch marks are not my favorite, and some of them I misplaced, and they stacked on top of each other, so that's a problem. I'll fix it some other day. 
All right, let's drive this tank. That's probably what you guys have been waiting for. So you just sit here, and there is a jet in the back. This thing is way too heavy for, uh-oh, uh for, uh, uh, what do you call it? For motors, so it does not move properly like a tank. Instead, you use jets, and it looks kind of like a tank. So this is this purple jet is set at uh, speed 25, so it can achieve that slow, slow kind of uh, speed. The Churchill in battle would move slower. So this was not really a tank you would want on the front lines. And why is there a Russian missile tank? Not tank, truck. What are you doing? Alrighty. Epic. There's a uh, Russian truck. Awesome. Oh, it looks like someone has a Hummer over here. Robloxy... Not Robloxian. Roblox Gaming XDXP. Let's check out his Hummer. This is... If you guys don't know what Hummer is, it's a modern day vehicle used by today's military uh, for troop tra transport, maybe? I don't know. It looks like he's good at detailing. Yeah, a lot better than me. When I say I tried, I only spent a couple hours building this. Let's friend this guy. I like this dude. This guy gives me good vibes. Sad friend. Epic. Come on, friend me. Do it. You won't. Eh. That's good. All right. We got a new friend that is good at build a boat. Awesome. Let's check our friend Poke Battle. Cool. All righty. He uh, realized I am in a tank. Epic or a tonk. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this tank is. I it's a Sherman, of course, but I'm I'm thinking it's a M4A1 or possibly an M4A. Th what am I saying? Uh, M M something M4A3 105 millimeter. Yes, I think that's what it is. Maybe an M4A2. I don't know. Yeah, the movement of this thing is very janky. Looks like Poke Battle is making a very cool microblock uh, stock car. Or maybe an old Lamborghini. I don't know. That's a cool build he's working on. Let's look over at what Jeff is doing. Never mind, he has isolation on, I think. Epic. That. Wow. Um, that is probably the cutest tank I've ever seen. That is, wow. <laughs> I would honestly say that's better than mine. That is amazing. Well, it's not exactly better than mine, but uh, since, since it's cute, kind of. Uh, no, he's destroying it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's go over to Yellow Team. Yeah, Yellow Team is wanting me to come over to his team. What in the world did you do? It's a complete mess over here, dude. What have you done? Alright, this is a literal land... Uh, minefield, but... What? I don't understand why it drifts. I think it's because of the buttons, but I'm not exactly sure. Whoa. 
as he says, looking at the side. Sorry about the mess. Hey, he found the way in. Epic. What in the world? That's spinning. Why is that spinning? Is is that spinning? That's spinning as well. Um. Huh. Interesting. I might have to fix that. So many builders. Uh, Jeff is probably the best builder on this server. Just because he makes fast cars, I that look good. Uh, it's not my kind of building. Oh, I ran out of fuel. This is bad. Alrighty. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been The Gun Carrier. Uh, if you haven't checked out my other builds, please uh, go over and watch them. Uh, I've done the Tiger one, uh, Abram, the uh, Abrams tank. I have done the L333 Tiger one, as I said. Uh, well, the gun carrier, of course. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the other ones. I've made... What have I made? I've made a giant Sherman and a LAV. Uh, I think that's it. I'm get. I'm guessing I'm missing one. Ah, Hellcat M18 Hellcat. That is probably my favorite tank out of all my tanks. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Blah blah blah. Subscribe. Also, check out my other channel called uh, My Reactions. That will be in the channels uh, list and on my channel homepage. Yeah, go sub to that. That's my main channel. And 